Boston Trail is a way to see the downtown sights, but it can also lead you to some of Boston's most haunted places like the Omni Parker Hotel. One of its employees shared some of the spooky tales he's encountered over the years. There's one story, room 1018, that um, the daughter was woken up uh, early in the morning, and um, it was right before uh, dawn, and she saw a gentleman at the end of her bed. For a few minutes, she just said, either smile or get out of my room, and she he smiled and disappeared. Just beyond the steps of the hotel are Beacon Hill and the Boston Common, both of which have their own scary stories. Acorn Street is not only one of the most photographed streets in America, but perhaps the most haunted. There have been numerous stories of ghostly figures in Civil War garb that have been told by locals and tourists. The Boston Common has a history of hangings and religious executions and is home to the central burying ground which supposedly has three different haunting spirits. People tell stories of a woman appearing lost and vanishing when approached. On the edge of the Boston Common lies the Boylston subway stop, where in 1897 an underground gas explosion killed 10 people. While some of the bodies were buried at the central burying ground, ghost hunters are attracted to the stop in hopes of finding any paranormal activity. The scary stories come even closer to home. I'm here at Boston University's Shelton Hall, where students have their own ghost stories. I lived in Shelton room 401, and the room is, you know, supposedly haunted. You know, I'm about to go to sleep, I turn off all the lights, and the curtain screeches. And the, what was really freaky about it was that it said Danny, which is my name. Though you may not have any ghost stories of your own, keep your eyes and ears open for anything that may go bump in the night. For Inside Boston, I'm Jordy Lippy.